guys, it's Rihanna and he's back again with another video. So I wanna share my breastfeeding story with you guys in hopes that if you are struggling with trying to breastfeed a brand new baby, that you find that you know there's other people that have gone through what you are going through and are still breastfeeding. So let's get right into the story. I don't know if you've watched my birth story, but Gianna was three weeks early. Ha ended up having cholestasis, so I had to be induced early, but my milk had not come in yet by the time she was born. But like everyone else, if your milk isn't in, you, get, you have colostrum, which is a form of breast milk. It's just thicker, it's packed with antibiotics and nutrients that your baby needs. I also was a little nervous because my breast hadn't really changed that much. When I first got pregnant, my boobs got bigger and that's just how they stay. I didn't see any milk coming out when I was in the shower. A lot of women will talk about that. So Gianna was born April 30th. Immediately when your baby's born, they put the baby on your chest and they encourage you to breastfeed. At the hospital I was out, they keep you two nights and three days. The next day, the LC came to visit us and checked on Gianna's latch and tried to help me as much as possible. She said I was doing great, everything was going fine. Again, I was still nervous because I still wasn't seeing anything come out. I'm just taking the reward for it at this point. And she seemed happy, so I was assuming I was feeding her something. Then the next night rolled around, the second night. And Gianna was just fussing. Fussing, fussing, fussing. She would not stop crying. So I called the nurse because I was having troubles getting her to latch while she was fussing so much. It was someone I hadn't seen before. And it is normal to call your nurse to help you with breastfeeding. That's what they're there for, to help you. And um, this lady, she just had like a really horrible aura. Like immediately when she walked in the room, I just, you know, kind of got like a bad feeling. Some people just, you know, their energy is just off. So, and I asked her, you know, I'm having trouble getting my baby to latch, can you please help me? And she said, yes. This lady grabs my breast, freaking presses the crap out of it. It's like, it was so painful. She was mashing my breast, which I still to this day don't know why she was doing that. I do understand, you know, sometimes you have to sandwich your breast to get it into the baby's mouth because the baby's mouth is so small. They're a newborn baby. But this lady was like mashing my breast. And not only that, then she started smashing Gianna's head into my breast. And yes, again, a lot of times, especially when they're brand newborn, you have to bring their head to your breast because they can't do it themselves. And it has to be like a quick motion because you know, you gotta get that nipple in there. I understand all of that, but this was like borderline violent. It was just a horrible experience. And of course, Gianna would not latch. I mean, she was basically getting her face smushed in, right? And she was still crying. And at this point, you know, it's the second night. I've had no sleep. I'm, you know, over the moon with this baby. This is all I'm focused on is feeding this baby, making sure she's good. So I am distraught. I'm like, okay, she doesn't want my milk. I don't have any milk. She's starving. That's why she's crying. And I'm just like, freaking out and this lady did not have a soft side to her at all this nurse like she basically made me feel like yeah you're starving your kid what are you gonna do now um, i ended up you know asking her like should i start giving her formula it looks like this breastfeeding thing is not going to work for me and she was like yeah give her formula do whatever you want she wasn't helpful at all in my head i was like i'm gonna continue to try to feed her see if this will get better throughout the night and i had to call the same nurse in there again a little later at this point my mom had arrived and she was there when the nurse was doing that same thing like smashing my breast like a pancake and shoving Gianna's head onto my breast. Like, I don't even know what this lady was doing. And my mom looked at her and said, um, ma'am, we're gonna need you to leave. And I was like having a full blown meltdown. I eventually called the nurse again and I just called and I was like, just bring me the formula. I have to feed my baby, just bring me the formula. And a nurse comes in. This time it was a different nurse than what I had just dealt with, the breast smasher. She did bring formula and she was like, what's going on? Have, are you breastfeeding? Are you formula feeding? And I'm like, no, I've been breastfeeding. Everybody was telling me I was doing fine until last night. I'm starving my baby. She won't stop crying. She's been crying all night. 
this nurse was totally different energy much nicer she just had a motherly energy and she was like well here's the formula but let's see if we can solve this problem so she picks Gianna up from my arms pats her on the back three times Gianna lets out this huge belch and she stops crying so instead of it being a starvation issue it was a gas issue so thank God for her and her awesome energy she told me here's the here's the formula I brought it if you feel like you need to give it to her give it to her but honestly if you want to breastfeed just breast everything you're going through is normal so I requested from that nurse that I would like to see the lactation consultant again so another lactation consultant came the last day it was just the third day and she watched me latch and watched Gianna eat and she said you're doing fine and I was like, I'm stressed out because I cannot see my colostrum and my milk's not come in yet. I don't even know if what I'm doing is right. She said, don't worry. Everything that you're going through is normal. Um, you definitely have milk. She's having wet and dirty diapers. So you're definitely feeding your baby. Everything's going just fine. But if you wanna help your milk come in a little faster, you can start pumping. Now, a lot of people will tell you not to pump this early. My breastfeeding group is totally against it, but it did help me. And all I can do is tell you what helped me. So I did start pumping early. By, I would say the fourth day, I was having milk. The fifth or sixth day, I went back to the hospital for that two day checkup. So you leave the hospital, but then you end up coming right back so they can make sure the baby's latching, make sure their weight is okay, their jaundice levels are okay. During those two days at home, I was pumping pretty much after every feed, which you're at that point, you're feeding like two, every two hours. By the time I came to see her again in her office for the checkup, I was getting a little bit of milk. I mean, like the tiniest amount of milk I was pumping and I was giving that to Gianna, just letting her drink out of it like a cup and she would just guzzle it up. I also, during those two days, I did end up supplementing with formula, which at a certain point I was just like, let me stop stressing about this. As long as my baby's alive and eating something, I'm okay. Like, let me stop having meltdowns over this. And it was at that point when I relaxed and just decided to go with whatever my boobs and her and whatever wanted to do, I believe that's when my milk started coming in. So I did end up supp supplementing her a couple of times um, just cause she just seemed hungry to me. I just, she would cry and again, I wasn't seeing the colostrum coming out and the pumping I was doing was like the tiniest, like couple milliliters of milk. So I'm like, there's no way she's getting full. So I did start supplementing her with some formula and she would just guzzle it up. So in my heart of hearts, I was like, I'm starving my baby. This is not good. So at the two day checkup with the lactation consultant, first thing I asked her when I got through the door is, do you have any more of that formula? Like, I know I'm here for the breastfeeding thing, but do you have any formula to give me so I can give it to this baby? And she was like, yeah, I have formula, but sit down, let's do a feed and let's see where we're at. So she weighed Gianna before, you know, I fed her in the office on this checkup and then weighed her after. During the feed, she noticed I was having a little bit of lash problems. I have very small nipples, which I didn't even know I had small nipples until I decided to start breastfeeding. So she gave me a nipple shield and Gianna latched so quickly and so perfectly and had the best feed. And then she weighed her after the feed and Gianna had drank 84 milliliters of milk. That's over two ounces. And here I am thinking I'm feeding her nothing. I literally cried with happiness and hugged this woman. I still to this day call her the breastfeeding genie. Like she is so great. She's been doing this 30 years. So she definitely knows what she's doing. She saved our breastfeeding journey. So I had my little nipple shield in hands and I knew I was actually producing and giving her milk. She also taught me how to actually use my pump. So I was turning it up as high as I could take it and thinking that that's what you're supposed to do. She let me know that is not the case. She let me know that the two knobs actually have two different functions and she showed me how to increase the speed but decrease the suction. And then as your milk comes to let down, then you increase the suction and decrease the speed. And holy cow, all of a sudden I was pumping milliliters of milk 
after feeding her. So I had a great supply and I had no idea that I had a great supply. So I knew what to do with my pump. She showed me how to, you know, use all the pump parts, which sizes I needed, everything like that. I was armed with my nipple shield and me and Gianna, we went home and we just started feeding and it was beautiful. The next issue I was having though was the pain. Even with the corrected latch and the nipple shield, like the pain was unreal, you guys. And it's just simply like, the, she doesn't have a tongue tie or anything like that or a lip tie. It's simply the fact like, your breast, your nipple is not used to that level of suction that frequently. They, if you've ever seen your baby, how extended they get your nipple, like that friction alone is painful. Um, she told me about a breastfeeding group that she had, so I started going to that, and I still do. And I remember, you know, being so distraught, I kept getting these uh, milk blisters. Well, everything was so painful. And I was like, what do I need to do? And they were telling me about a prescription nipple cream that I had to try to track down because, you know, it's compounded. You can only get it made, blah, blah, blah. Then the very next day, the pain is gone. It just disappeared like it was never there. I don't get milk blisters anymore. After six weeks, my milk started to like really regulate. I wasn't like super engorged anymore. So now I don't really pump that much unless I know I'm gonna be leaving her with someone for an, enough time that she would miss it. I would miss a feed with her. So I'll pump that day fresh milk for her and I have a couple of bags in the freezer. I don't have a big stash because I don't work outside of the home enough to like have to do that. And that can also really increase your supply and cause mastitis and milk blebs and milk blisters. So unless you really need a stash or unless you really need to pump, don't pump. It does help your supply come in. If you need to increase your supply, it's definitely something you can do. If you're missing a, any of the baby's feedings, like if she's sleeping overnight, then you can get up and pump so you won't be engorged. That's pretty much what pumping is for when you can't feed the baby. If you're pumping and feeding the baby, you know, after your milk is coming in, you're gonna probably have an oversupply. And if you wanna oversupply, that's great. But oversupply can be really, really uncomfortable physically. And it can also cause your baby to like choke or get too much poor milk, which is the first milk that comes in and not enough hind milk which is like the fattier, more nutritious milk that comes in later after you're let down. Do your research on pumping, because it, it definitely has its place. I'm glad I did it. It can definitely cause you to have an oversupply, and that's not good. Now we're two months in, and everything is going great. I'm just so glad I stuck with it, you guys, because I honestly, truly, truly wanted to give up so many times those first couple of weeks, especially that second night. <laughs> that was a nightmare. So I just hope this encourages you to continue going, Breastfeeding is the best for your baby. Breast milk is literally created for baby. Plus just that bonding, that skin to skin with your baby. It is beautiful. I mean, I would have never thought I would love breastfeeding. I knew it was something I wanted to do for her, but I didn't understand that I was going to love it as much as I do. I'm not a professional, I'm not a doctor, I'm not an LC. But if you have questions, please drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to help. Also, there's La Leche League, you can go through WIC. There's so many resources there to help you on your breastfeeding journey. So if it's something you're wanting to do, don't give up. Use your resources and just keep at it. Don't give up. Even if you have to supplement with formula, I was there, I was supplementing with formula. Believe me, just keep going and you will be able to feed your baby on your own. So I hope this video helped someone. Be sure to like and share with anyone who is going through a breastfeeding struggle or just would like some tips and tricks and drop a comment if you're going through this struggle yourself or if you've come through the other side and you have some, some tips and tricks to share of your own. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you like mommy videos and until the next video, bye!